lights in full. Peroni got a good start. Goethe did not get a good start at all uh, from the third row or the second row of the grid, I should say. Peroni with a clear lead in the first couple of corners. Everyone cleanly through turn one. Turn six, however, we saw a collision between the 69 and 22 cars. Lomko and Marin Angeli uh, having a bit of a coming together. Goethe once again fighting from underneath, climbing through the order. Ogard got the word that he had to let the 78 car by because he made a move off circuit, and that allowed uh, Oliver Goethe to pounce and go around the outside at turn number one. Here is another move from Goethe. It's basically an Oliver Goethe throw reel, these highlights, because he was making moves all day long. Uh, up to second at the expense of Fred Lubin, and then he went hunting for Alex Peroni. This was the key moment, though. Peroni was going to the outside, Goethe was going to the inside. They met in the middle, and, uh, well, more damage to Peroni than Goethe, both in track position and uh, damage to the car itself. But Goethe would continue on to win. A bit of a moment there, a snap of oversteer from Philip Ugram pushed him down below Francesco Simonazzi in the closing stages of the race. Oliver Goethe, though, would drive off into the distance and claim the win. Lubin, Ogard, Peroni, uh, our top four. Josh Mason in fifth, but the happiest man of all, Oli Goethe and his support crew.